Hello and welcome to a new episode of Sign House TV. Today I'm going to talk about one of the well documented and most discussed issues in the industrial world for a long time plastic outgassing. So, what is outgassing? Outgassing is the release of gas or moisture that was dissolved, trapped, frozen, and even absorbed in any material. And it's a crucial factor for plastic components that are used in high heat environments, vacuum applications, or enclosed spaces. So how does outgassing happen? The simplest way to explain it is like this. Depending on the storage and climate conditions, plastics absorb moisture. The water inside the plastic spreads to the surface and pumps away our outgasses away, making these plastics a source of outgassing for some time. Although this can be disregarded in normal application temperatures, it causes bubble formation during heating when the plastics are exposed to higher temperatures or humidity. Now let me talk about outgassing in advertising and signage. In the case of signage, when the thermoplastic substrate is exposed to sunlight, humidity or heat, trapped gases and moisture will be released as part of the outgassing process. Since outgassing is a gradual escape of gas or moisture, when self-adhesive vinyl is applied onto acrylic, polycarbonate or painted walls, it does not immediately bubble. But after 2-3 to three hours of applying the vinyl or sometimes later, bubbles start to become visible. One of the most commonly asked questions by our customers is how to prevent the bubbling or blistering of vinyl when mounted onto acrylic, polycarbonate or painted walls. If you are in the advertising or signage field, you must have faced this issue at some point or the other. When ordinary self-adhesive materials are applied onto thermoplastic substrates, outgassing can create bubbles and cause total delamination of the applied label or graphics as shown in this image. Ordinary labels lift and bubble because of the outgassing from PMMA or polycarbonate. However, there will be no bubbling issues with label stock with high gas permeability. Many industries use molded or formed plastic panels for demanding engineering applications. These often are manufactured from materials such as acrylic or polycarbonate. However, the impact of the environmental factors on these plastics, including the exposure to sunlight, humidity, and high temperature, can accelerate outgassing. Is there a permanent solution to this problem? Even though plastic outgassing cannot be completely prevented, we can counteract it by following these steps. The first step is preheating and pre-drying of the plastics. It is highly recommended to have prolonged pre-drying at temperatures below the softening point of the material. The time and the temperature of the preheating required to minimize outgassing is determined by the properties of the material being used. The second step is analyzing the surface. By analyzing the surface of the thermoplastic substrate and the type of film that is used for the graphics, it will help prevent outgassing or even reduce it. If the surface is old, then there's fair chance that any outgassing has already been finished. Even painted surfaces may cause issues, particularly walls painted with water-based paints. By doing so, you can avoid the bubbling problems, ensuring the sign is visually appealing, long-lasting, and passes on the intended message. In conclusion, outgassing can be prevented to a greater extent. Since plastics have different outgassing rates in a variety of applications, the choice of the material would be made after a thorough tests and comparison of all the material properties, including the mechanical strength, ease of manufacturing, and electrical breakdown strength in the vacuum. At Blue Line, we stock a wide variety of commercially available engineering plastics in sheet, rod, tube, and film forms. We can help you determine which plastic is right for your application as our experts have the tools and expertise to deliver dependable solutions for your projects. If you have any more questions on this topic or thermoplastics, feel free to get in touch to us, write us, WhatsApp us, and we'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you for watching and see you on the next episode.